Yo, 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 what's up, people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are really enjoying the video so far. So good. This is my second video in the channel, and today we're gonna talk a little bit about Manchester United and a little bit about other teams. And if you just noticed today, maybe Chelsea, maybe Chelsea is that team that we Man United fans wish to have United to be because what was that i mean in terms of attacking bro like chelsea have it all figured out like all the offensive players are really coordinating with the midfielders with the defense even the keeper himself you see that pass that robert sanchez did give it to was it nicholas jackson who passed to cole palmer oh my god that thing was cold bro as much as i hate chelsea bro i think that team is set as long as they coordinate through all the games like this, like today's game, I mean, they're really good. But needless to say, their defense is still shit. So at least for other Premier League teams like United, we can sail through. At least we can get a couple of goals here and there. But if we don't, if we don't look at our defense very well, the offensive side of Chelsea is gonna beat us this season. Like, you know what happened last season? Like the last game we played against Chelsea. We don't want that to happen again. Well, in other news, at least we've got the transfer window rolling. We have Scott McTominay going to Napoli for, what was it, 30 million? I think 25 plus 5 add-ons or something like that. But generally, 30 million. I think that's a good amount, given that we had said 35 million and they were offering 25 million. So at add of five and us going down by five not so bad in today's business i mean that's where buy and seller meets so that's i guess the equilibrium is at 30 million pounds for a homegrown player there we land so when mark Tomine leaves united you're probably asking yourself so who's gonna take the place like who's gonna replace mark Tomine? and we've got you an answer that is Manuel Ugate. I'm really, really not sure about Ugate's game, but I'm sure he's going to provide something solid, something extra from what Scott McTominay has been provided, which has been mostly offensive. So I'm going to look forward to see if Ugate is going to hold that midfield together because for the longest, man, for the longest, for the longest, yeah? We've had Kase there. Kase has been having good games sometimes, bad games. And last season was his shittiest season. Sorry to say that, but it's true. Like, just just look at it. Like, compare the previous season with last season. Kase has been on a roller coaster, bro. Like, it it, it, sound, it really feels like his legs are over. But I I really I really trust in him. I think he still has it. But I'm really curious of what Ugas is coming to offer. I am not really familiar with this style of play. I'm going to do my research. I'm going to educate myself on that. So I'm not going to talk more about <coughs> Ugate, someone whom I've not watched much of most of his games. I've just watched a couple of his games <coughs> in PSG. So, yeah, looking forward to that also. So it's really, a, really a busy transfer window. Now we've got Ugate. We've got Zagze, we've got Delay, we've got that Senegalese kid, can't even remember his name. And we've got, <coughs> who else have we got? We've got Leno Yoro, we've got Mazrui. I mean, some top notch signings. It's been a while since we did such signings, and I'm really, really pumped up. Despite the results yesterday, I believe we have room for improvement. We can do something against Liverpool, we can do something against. <clears throat> I I really believe it's Crystal Palace, Southampton. It's Crystal Palace, Southampton. Um, which other team? Which other team? Which other team? I don't know. I don't know. I think Brentford. Yeah, we can do something, especially after the international. International. What do we call this thing? The international break. Yeah. So, yeah, that is that. That is what is popping up in the transfer news and uh yeah i'm currently watching liverpool game here they're already leading man what's wrong with us why we why aren't we not scoring like other teams why are we not performing like other teams yesterday i had 
Ten Hag and even the previous time it's like he's making an excuse that players are not really set for the season like they are still recovering from the break why are other teams performing very well compared to us these other teams like let's say Man City they have had this full squad like performing like you know taking part in be it Copa America be it Euros be it Olympics they've been there man they've been there why us why us that's a question i'm asking myself bro it's not it's not fair <laughs> it's not fair we need to be winning our games and that is that thank you so much for watching to this very end i hope you liked it make sure you smash the thumbs up button for this video today no ranting <laughs> no ranting because we don't have a game today i'm just hate watching liverpool but no point actually because <clears throat> they're already leading you know let me catch you in the next episode probably tomorrow Peace out.